Hi everybody, welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm the Stone Shamaness and today is the new moon in Aquarius, so happy new moon. Um, and the grid that I've made today for the new moon is for helping us to move forward. I'll just show you the grid. Okay, this is the grid. Got a nice lots of triangles here. <coughs> It's in a bit of a sacred geometry shape. It's actually this type of shape of this crystal. I'm not too sure um, what the name of that shape is. Um, we've got lots of black crystals, lots of obsidian. Um, these are river stones here and they've got the I've drawn the symbols. I think these are the elder runes symbols, and these cream quartz and shells. They've got the symbols of the planets and also lunar runes as well. The different stages of the moon. So I like to use these on the new moons and full moons because of the symbols. We've got some resin Egyptian figurines. Um, it's an incense holder, so when I do, <coughs> excuse me, meditation, um, I can have the incense burning. It um, creates sacred space. I've got my crystal skull here. So I use white and black crystal skulls. Um, the white crystals for symbolising the moon, especially selenite, that's a crystal for the moon. I've also got a slow fake obsidian skull and a nomite skull. Another clear crystal skull here and also the centre skull. And I've got a Serpentine egg. I'm not actually sure of this one. I don't know if it is serpentine, but the the patterns are absolutely amazing on this. So beautiful. I thought I'd use that one on the grid. I've got some peacock feathers. The shamans used to believe they had magical powers. And there's another serpentine egg. This one's a dark serpentine, dark green. And I've got some pyrite. I do love pyrite, it's quite pretty. And peacock or this one is a very happy stone. And this one's a selenite mix with quartz, I think. And I've got these lovely shells, I think they're mother of pearl. They're really good on the grids and the unicorn shells as well. Got selenite egg. Another selenite egg as well. And a lovely white crystal dragon skull. I wanted to talk about this beautiful um I got this from my local crystal shop. A double heart and this actually black moonstone which is quite rare um, to get a piece this big as well is lovely oops so I'm very happy about this it's so pretty um, I bought this as a treat for my wedding anniversary 18 years it's supposed to be porcelain but I thought I'd have crystal instead but isn't it beautiful 
and I've called, called this crystal Adam and Eve for the male and female. So I'm very happy with that. So I thought it'd be quite fitting, being that it's a new moon, to put the black moonstone on. So that's the grid. And we'll go and look at the other grid. Okay, I'm not going to pull a card today. Um, for a change, we're going to go outside into my local park, Cannonhill Park, and I'll do some light language in the park. And also, I'll show you a couple of um, places that I like to go um, to relax in Cannonhill Park, and also do grids there as well. Um, this is the second grid um, for the new moon in Aquarius. I've used like green crystal glass um, for the water element. I've got these lovely chrysanthemum lilac flowers, they go quite nice. And some bloodstone. I've got Labradorite. And this is Silver Eye Serpentine uh, Skull, that one's called Lizard. And this one's um, Cambaba Jasper and that one's called Mint. It's like a dark green. That's quite an ancient crystal that's been around for uh, millions of years. And um, it's got lovely patterns on like bits of moss. It's ancient moss. That's in the crystal. It's lovely. And this stone here is Apatite. Blue appetite. I thought that would go quite nice. And turquoise is quite healing as well. So it's quite a healing grid. And that's my second grid. And um, we're now going to go to Cannonhill Park for the new moon. And um, I'll do a, sh a mini grid there as well. See you in a minute. And before I go, I'd just like to thank all my subscribers. And if you like the video, please like and subscribe. And don't forget to watch the, um, at the end of the video, there's some really powerful colour light codes that came in for the um, new moon energies. And, all, and these light codes and the light language are to help us to move forward. See you soon. I'm out in nature, in the woods at Cunning Hill Park. And it's a lovely day, um, very sunny today. Nice and peaceful. I um, really needed to get out in nature and because it's winter and we don't get many nice days like this so I thought I'd take advantage of it today. Um, after here I'll go on to a place that I call the Secret Garden and I used to visit there a lot especially when my son was young and just sit there with my son let him run around on the grass and not many people went by so it was lovely. So I'm now going to do a bit of light language for the new moon today. The <laughs> The cat at 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 the cat at
When I go into the secret garden, I used to call this the secret garden, but it's not so secret anymore. Got some stones there. More stones here. I've made a grid over these stones. some more stones. Large stone here. The ancients used to use these stones um, on ley lines to direct the energy. Also made a grid here before as well. It used to be a lovely peaceful place. And now they've got a horrible monstrosity that they're building. Some ugly metal thing. You can see there. Type of arena. But look how beautiful it is. So this is the meteorite at my park at Cannon Hill, my local park. It's absolutely amazing. I've done grids around this large rock before, but as you can see, it does get a bit waterlogged. It's hard to do a grid on it, around it. And I don't know. 
But it was so heavy they couldn't move it. It's been here absolute years. It was gated off at one point, but they, for some reason they've took the gates away and they just leave it. And that's a close up. I'm now going to, sh to make a small grid in the min mini village. Okay, this is the mini village. Well, it's like a mod model village. I won't be making a grid because I've got workmen here, so it'll be a di bit disruptive. They've just waved at me. But yeah, you can see it had a little river. And there's a tiny bridge at the top. So yeah, that's quite nice. Maybe we'll do that another day um, for the full moon, perhaps. Okay. This is the grid that I've done for the new moon in Aquarius. Um, as you can see, the stones are in the shape of the Aquarius symbol, the water bearer symbol, even though they are an air sign. And I've just chose a nice flat tree trunk to do the grid. And I've got lovely snowdrop flower in the centre and some holly leaves to decorate. So I hope you've enjoyed the trip out today out in nature for a change for the new moon. And hopefully I shall return for the full moon in Virgo. See you soon. Takataro kodo de kete kero kodo takata to shuku de kete kete de kero kodo takataro kodo to shuku de kete takata kata to kodo to shuku de kete kete de kero kodo to takata to shuku de kete kata to kodo de kete kero kodo takata de kero kodo de kete to shuku de kete kete de kete ro kodo takata to kata to shuku de kete kata to kodo to shuku de kete kete a kata ro kodo to shuku de kete de kete ro kodo de kata ro kodo to shuku de kete kata de kata ro kodo to shuku de kete kete kata ro kodo de kata de kata ro kodo shuku de kete kete kero kodo de kata de kata de kete ro kodo shuku de kata da de kero kodo shuku de kete de kete kero kodo de kata da kodo to shuku de kata da kodo to shuku de kete kete kata kata de kata ro kodo to shuku de kete Takaro kodo de kete kero kodo de kata da shuka de kata kata da kataro kodo.